sure you remember this kid. Um, and what you were about to see is the video that was never released from Georgia because it was such a catastrophic failure that it just didn't happen. It was basically the wheels were coming off at the end of the trip. We were super, super tired. Too many long nights staying up way too late. Video narration is just totally lackluster. Our actual uh, goal, to, which was to catch a giant amphiuma, was a complete failure. Um, basically, we had this crazy idea of making a giant minnow trap to try to catch an amphiuma. Um, and so that, you know, we got bird wire fencing at the hardware store and uh, made this big funnel trap and uh, eventually we deployed it. So I'll let you guys check out some of that footage now. <laughs> All right, so the Amphiuma trap we've been working on is ready to be deployed. You got the rope, Matt? Yep. All right, and we're heading down to this roadside swampland to deploy it. And uh, we're hoping it does well. All right, Matt, taking one for the team. Oh yeah, is it deep? Yes it is. That's kind of good, I guess. I'm gonna have to pull my pants up and see how this thing floats. Oh, perfect. Oh, she does it perfectly. Look at that. Bottles provide some air for these Aunt Velmas. <laughs> Aunt Fiona's. <laughs> All right, give me that rope. All right. The Aunt Fiona trap is Sit up perfectly, I think. I mean, as good as it is anywhere else. Oh, it's starting to drift a little bit. Yeah? Yeah. That's fine, though. I just really hope no one steals this thing. <laughs> uh, so we're going to go to Florida for like two days, and we're going to come back and check on this. So uh, we'll see what happens then. <laughs> All right, so uh, we are just getting back from our little trip to Florida. It is a steamy 36 degrees out. I'm in shorts. But uh, hopefully we have something in our trap at this point. It looks like the water. If <laughs> we have a trap, yeah, it does look like the water got pretty high. Um, and it's kind of hard to believe with these temperatures that we we're finding snakes earlier today. <laughs> this is freezing. All right, so it's, it's not lost. But... Yeah, the water has risen significantly. We thought we lost it, but we see one of our bottles all the way out there. And we think that stick is attached to our trap. Why is that one over there shaking? See that? Uh huh. Could be an alligator. Go get him. Come on. Bro, what happened to all the sticks there? All right, come on. You. Don't be a don't be a little baby. Come, come on. Baby. Don't be a little wimp. Yeah, get your. Get in the water. <laughs> I think you should go under. <laughs> I think you should just dunk under just to get it out of the way. Oh, this is going to come in handy. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm telling you, it's out there. All right. I should have emptied my pockets. <laughs> Matthew has spotted the string. Is it all the way out there? Or? It's right there. I don't know if it's still connected. It probably is. We had a lot of slack. I don't know how deep this water is. I would say just... Rip off the band-aid. I should have given you my backpack. All right, come on. We just need that string. <laughs> oh, I see the trap wiggling. Is it? Yeah, a little bit. Come on, Matt. I need a bigger stick. Dude. I think you just gotta go for it. <laughs> I'll drive. I'll drive home. <laughs> Matt, I think you just gotta make a beeline for it. Is there a trap? Yes. Hell yeah. Drag her in. Bring her on. <laughs> what a trooper. I hope there's something in there. <laughs> there she blows. <laughs> Grab the string and just pull it in. I don't know where the string is, bro. It's in front of it. I saw it. See it hanging off? <laughs> did that touch you? Did you get scared? Yes. There ain't in here. Really? Oh, there's an infume. Holy f No way. There's an infume. Oh, it's a hot dog. <laughs> Are you serious? I gotcha. Uh oh. 
Like, I thought you tricked yourself. <laughs> no, I totally tricked myself. <laughs> God, we didn't get nothing. Not even a crawfish. What? <laughs> oh no, there's crayfish in here. There's a bunch of them. Dude, he's probably too high off the ground. All right, guys. So uh, it's been a couple days since we uh, put out the Amphiuma trap last. Uh, this is like what our second or third time putting it out. I guess second time putting it out. Our Airbnb is no longer a thing, so we uh, we've been sleeping in a tent, roughing it for a day or so, and we're about to head north. But we did leave the Amphiuma trap out for like two days um, while we were a little further south, and uh, we're gonna grab it on our way home right now. But first, we got to go through. A ridiculous puddle so uh, let's see how that goes right in the middle <laughs> yeah that's a smart idea oh yeah oh my that would be the river <laughs> so uh I hope we can still get our trap. Let's see how far we are from the spot. <laughs> this is not what we intended right here. Um, I think we gotta go shoes off and hike to this thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's freaking freezing. We gotta get down the road here. Oh, it's already so cold. <laughs> oh my God. It's like a freaking ice bath, dude. Is. This is nuts. <sighs> I think that's where the road bends up there. I'm starting to go numb, which is kind of that's a good thing. I know, I hate ice bathing. I hated ice bathing when I had to do it for track. It was the worst. <laughs> ah, yeah, baby. Oh. All right, look at this beer can up in the tree. It's like six feet off the ground. I hope the river didn't come up that high last night. Oh my God. All right, luckily it's getting a little bit shallower. Oh, I can't imagine that much different than that. All right, so Matt's going in there because he's got uh some slides on. I'm barefoot and this is kind of like a flooded pricker bush type deal so he has spotted the trap and uh, he's gonna bring it back over here hopefully. All right Matt's about to check it. Moment of truth. Nothing. Nothing? Seriously? Yep. Not even crayfish? That's disappointing. All right <laughs> let's go home. <laughs> So my feet are freezing, but the trap lives to see another day, doesn't she, Matt? Yep, I keep retrieving her. <laughs> and uh, this is our haul right here. Oh, I just stepped on a hot dog. <laughs> That's gross. Um, but yeah, this is our our little haul right here. Not that it's the desired target. We're gonna let these guys go in a second. This one's a big boy. Oh yeah. Well. Well, this trip has not been the easiest trip. And we've been finding a lot of cool stuff and people up north have been saying to me like, you know, you're killing this trip, whatever. And yeah, I mean, we did, great with some species and whatever. We found some awesome stuff, great memories. But we have had a host of issues on this trip. Um, from Matt's credit card getting canceled and used on a OnlyFans account uh, by some, you know, random person, uh, to a nail or two nails in the tire right next to each other. I lost a pair of pants on the highway out the bed of the truck. Um, and just horrible weather. You know, and having many snakeless days. I mean, maybe you can see in the background now, but we are not out of the woods yet. We were literally leaving to head up to North Carolina or to head home, cover my license plate like that, but but you can see 
There is a ditch on the side of the road. Understandably right now you're wondering why I'm such an idiot and I just want to point out that the position that the car is in right now is not how it entered the ditch. On the passenger side of the vehicle the wheels went in right around here and it slid sideways resulting in what you see right now. And due to all the flooding I thought we had a couple feet more road. I was literally turning around and we were going to drive like seven hours or five hours to North Carolina and this is what ends up happening. Now Matt has walked up the road and he is looking for um, well he already found a, a kind gentleman that is uh, gonna bring a winch down here and uh, we're gonna see what we can do and I'll update you guys but I am just incredibly stressed right now and upset and really do not want to be in this situation. I would love to be on the road heading home. <laughs> All right, well, as you may be able to see, we are on hard ground again. I cannot be more thankful for the, uh, the local folks who pulled us out with a chain in their truck because the winch wouldn't even get it out. Um, but after a couple hours of being in there, we finally are out. We are ready to start heading north, and I'll let you guys know where we end up at this rate. All right, so we get out of that situation by the skin of our teeth, end up leaving for North Carolina way later than we wanted to, and seven plus hours later, we get there in the middle of the night. Um, we're in the sand hills, we pull off on some random trail and basically pitch tents and uh, wake up at 7 a.m., 25 degrees to two conservation officers which was a rude awakening, to say the least. Um, after that whole or ordeal, we uh, basically tried to look for amphibians, and we ended up finding uh, unidentified salamander larva, um, a dusky salamander, another sandhills urysera, and um, one thing was kind of neat that we flipped, you can check out. All right, the temperature is literally in the 30s, and I just flipped this log right here, and check out what was hanging out. There's a worm snake. What on earth is a snake doing up in North Carolina in February with temperatures in the 30s? All right, well, I'm gonna put this guy back because I'm sure he's cold and I'm gonna try to get his log sealed up nice how it was. Here he is finding his way back inside the log, which we wanna make sure he does. And then after that, it was just like a frog and whatever, and we decided to head home. But um, that was kind of this bad ending to the trip. Uh, we basically hightailed it out of there, out of North Carolina later that day. We were cold and tired, and then got back to New Jersey in the middle of the night, and then the next day, went all the way up to college. Yeah, so that's the reality of these trips sometimes, is you go on them, and uh, what I show you on the channel usually is all the fun and the cool snakes we find and whatnot. But at the same time, this sort of stuff happens all the time, and uh, yeah, it's just part of it. So uh, thanks for watching, and uh, catch you guys in the next one.